try to prevent the fire in the forest, not to stop them, to prevent them. Well, we divided that project in two different parts or two different stages. First, firefighter station. For this part of the job, we created a special machine with two receptors and one transmission. The receptors are made of two channels. They will receive four different signals. Well, there will be four different sensors in a forest. Number one, smoke sensor. Number two, noise sensor. Number three, movement sensor. And number four, temperature sensor. When one of those sensors detects something, smoke, temperature, noise, or movement, they will send a message to these receptors wirelessly, it means without cables, and the receptors connected to a computer using a program visual basic. It will appear that probably there is fire in a forest. <coughs> this computer will send a message to a robot we created that will be also in a forest. That robot will have two different sensors, a light sensor and a temperature sensor. It will be programmed to follow the light and when it detects a high temperature, or well, it will stop and it will shoot water involved by a battery from this water tank. We built this future robot program to follow the light in case of fire. Then the, the temperature sensor detects high temperatures. It will immediately stop the robot and shoot water in this by battery. We need to create an electronic device that will be in the forest installing the tree and it has four sensors. Number one, movement sensor. Number two, noise sensor. Number three, smoke sensor. And number four, temperature sensor. When, when one of the Small, high temperature movement or not, we will send a signal to the firefighter station as the chicken cattle was in. We hope this year will break this trying to prevent a real problem that is happening at the end of the world. Well, now we are going to show you how it works. Here are the sensors that will be in the forest. Well, we can also fire here, obviously. So we created a special bottom, like a demo bottom, a demonstration. And when we press it, it will send a signal from this transmitter to these receptors. And it will appear in the monitor. Oh. Then they will send a signal to the robot. The robot will turn. There is a signal in the monitor, and the monitor is transmitting with this transmitter to this receptor to the robot. Now, as we see, we cannot get fire here, so we are using a, a lamp to make the robot follow the light. Here are one sensor, and here is the other sensor of light. When it detects light, it follows it. Um, well, when it detects a very high temperature with, with this sensor,
the ATM. The ATM is a robot that withdraws money in minutes of 50. Once a button on the wheelchair is pressed, it is communicated via Bluetooth to the ATM. The store. The store is a big place for buying money designed to get the to the wheelchair. This does so by taking the money, which is in a basket, setting it aside, and picking up the groceries and setting it in the shoe's basket. Now, if you notice in the street, there's a fake car, and this fake car is used to represent Thank you. 
Sekarang.